Welcome to Lone Star Golf. I'm Brooke Bentley. The University of Houston golf team has a rich legacy. Since the program began in 1946, U of H has won 16 team national titles and produced popular tour players like Fred Couples and Steve Elkington. Now, there is new reason to be excited about the program. The goal of the U of H golf team is clear. It's inherent to the Cougars' legacy and the focus of their rallying cry. It's to bring home a 17th national title. Project 17 is our slogan. We, uh, that's something we're working towards every single day, and um, you know that's our ultimate end goal. It really encompasses everything that we do from a, a recruiting standpoint, from a player development standpoint, from a fundraising standpoint. We, we want to put forth the effort in every area to win a 17th national championship. The question is, do the Cougars have the talent to claim number 17, a feat the program last accomplished in 1985? While the fall season is just beginning, the future certainly looks bright for the team, especially with seniors Blair Hamilton and Vince Martino leading the way. You're only as good as your leaders. Um, you know, these guys have worked very hard and they're doing a better job than, than, than you know, the guys before them. That's one of our you know, things that, that I ask our guys, you know, when you leave this program, uh, leave it better than you found it. Hamilton, who made the cut at the Canadian Open and earned a spot in the U.S. Amateur last summer, looks to build on a season that included an NCAA regional title and All-American Honorable Mention honors. Personally for goals, I'd love to be a first-team All-American. Um, you know, I'm always chasing down wanting to be that number one amateur in the world and, and get ready for that next step turning professional. As for Martino, he was a key member of last year's team that advanced to the NCAA championships and is fresh off a tournament win in which he shot a career best 66. It felt great. I mean, that was an unbelievable feeling. I didn't have any idea. I got up and down on 18 out of the front bunker and all the guys went crazy and it was unbelievable. There's also a stable of talent backing up these seniors with 16 players on the roster. Our environment is extremely competitive uh, and I think there, there's a lot of comfort in that, you know, knowing that you know, maybe this week, maybe some one guy's not playing well. We can we can sub in a guy that, that can that can step in and, and, and play at a very high level. We've got a lot of guys competing every week. I mean, every qualifying we have for each tournament, it's like a it's like a tournament in itself. So I mean, making out of that to the actual tournament, it's such good preparation. It's just we have so many guys on our team that could play any week. With strong leadership, a deep team, and a tournament win in tow, the Cougars have every reason to be excited and proud about their coveted project. It's pretty cool, not many teams can say that, they can say Project 1 or whatever it is, but for it to be 17, that's a lot of national championships, so yeah, it's really impressive for our school, and yeah, it's something great, so we really try and embrace it. Also of note, Sam Elkington is on the team. He is the son of Steve Elkington, who was part of the 1984 national championship team at U of H, and then went on to win the 1995 PGA championship. Well, thanks for watching Lone Star Golf. See you next week.